Berserk is one of the most popular franchises to ever come out of Japan. The aggressively brutal dark fantasy series made waves as a manga, but has also been repeatedly adapted into an anime to varying degree of success. The fact that Berserk cannot be left alone speaks for the power of the series. Berserk tells a moving story about a stoic swordsman on a journey against dark forces. But it's far from the only manga that digs into such a premise. And it is a fact that Berserk is one of, if not the greatest manga of all time. Either you have read it already or you just want to take a break from it. There's nothing wrong with being curious about series that are similar to this timeless masterpiece. So that's why we are here with the top 10 best manga recommendations to read if you liked Berserk. So without any further ado, let's start with our video. On the 10th number, the manga is Blade of the Phantom Master. The story takes place in an unknown land. After the fall of Jushin Empire and the death of the Emperor, the country finds itself plunged into chaos, allowing terror and the law of the strongest to control everything. Secret agents of the vanished kingdom, the Angyo Onshi had the mission of ensuring respect for the law and punishing the governors who oppress the people. Today, an Angyo Onshi named as Munsu continues this mission through the devastated country. Accompanied by his faithful bodyguard Chung Yang and his choir and a small desert bat. Shin Angyonshi is a seinen, historical, supernatural action and adventure manga that takes a piece of Korean history and turns it into a superb journey for the characters and the readers to experience. On the ninth number, the manga name is Ubel Blatt. The story takes place in a separate world between the Empire of Stensland and the mysterious place named as Witsek, otherwisely nicknamed as Evil Empire, where the war took place between the evil forces of Witsek and the others. The scenario centers on a legend that tells that, to defeat the army of darkness of Witsek, the Emperor sent 14 warriors to whom he entrusted 14 sacred spears. Three of them, the glorious warriors of No Return, perished in battle. Four others, nicknamed as the Spears of Treason, were executed for their companions for the felony. The last seven remaining people accomplished their missions and were welcomed back as heroes. Thus was born the legend of the seven heroes. Twenty years after that point, a rebellion breaks out in the border province of the Empire of Snezland, led by individuals claiming to be the Spears of Treason. On the eighth number, the manga name is Kingdom. During the Waring Straits period in China, Xin Li dreams of becoming the greatest general in the world. While helping Ace, the current king of Queen, to achieve his dream of a total unification of China, ending the warfare once and for all, Xin will rise from a war orphan slave to a feared general. Kingdom is a brutal and bloody series that features some of the extravagant battles and some very personal confrontations, but it frames it all around the question of honor and family. Berserk's guts is a full-grown man, but the protagonists in Kingdom are still figuring out life. Kingdom appreciates the grand military glory of Berserk and it depicts China in flux as it is torn apart by the conflicts. Kingdom is more grounded and simple than Berserk but it elegantly depicts the harsh reality of war and how the causalities can often cloud the purpose in the first place. On the seventh number, the manga name is Helsing. Helsing centers around a royal order of Protestant knights, who are an organization founded by Abraham van Helsing and run by his descendants. His mission is to protect the queen and the borders of the country from any supernatural threats. The organization is led by Sir Integra Fairbrook Winsgate Helsing, the last living member of the family who inherited her responsibility as director after her father's death when she was 12 years old. Under her command are Walter C. Dornes and Alucard, a powerful vampire who was captured by the family a hundred years ago. Later, the ex-policewoman Sarah and Victoria also joins the squad who after being beaten by Alucard becomes her offspring and by extension a Helsing soldier. On the sixth number, the manga name is Blade of the Immortal. Blade of the Immortal centers around young Rin Asano's journey to avenge the death of her parents at the hands of a sword school whose influence has grown within Japan. That sword school is called as Ito Ryu. 
Unable to deny her powerlessness in the face of her powerful foe, she seeks out the skills of a swordman who has been cursed with immortality, Manji. With his partnership set in stone, the two embark on a perilous journey of bloodshed, vengeance and redemption, each to fulfill their own life's cause. Blade of the Immortal taps into the same level of brutality and similar atmosphere that's present in Berserk. Both series have anti-heroes, beautiful characters and a great history. Throughout both series, we see the relationship between the characters change and develop in an interesting way that keeps you glued for more. On the fifth number, the manga name is Gantz. Kei Kurono is a selfish and apathetic student who is forced to save a person from being hit by a subway train when his childhood classmate Masaru Kato calls him for help. As a consequence, he and Kato both die trying. They later show up in a visually normal apartment with other people just as baffled as they are. There, a mysterious black spear forces them to participate in a sadistic game and for this, it places at their disposal an exotic futuristic arsenal of weapons that they must learn to use to combat various species of aliens and other threats that ordinary people do not notice. Those who make it to the room are not seen by the mortal humans until the spear drops them after each mission. Gan steps into the same level of brutality and focus carnage that's present in Berserk, but it goes in a more science fiction and technology heavy direction for the material. Gan's story is gripping and cuts right to the chase, but it's the wild aliens and the exaggerated weapons that are used against them that makes the series such a memorable experience. On the fourth number, the manga name is Dorohedoro. Hole, a dark, decrepit and a disorderly district where the strong prey on the weak and death is an ordinary occurrence, is all but befitting of the name given to it. A realm separated from law and ethics, it is a testing ground for the magic users who dominate it. As a race occupying the highest rungs of their society, the magic users think of the people living in the hole as no more than insects. Kaiman, more reptile than a man, is one such individual. He hunts them on a heedless quest for answers with only a trusted pair of bayonets and his immunity to magic. Cursed by his appearance and tormented by nightmares, magic users are his only clue to restoring his life to normal. With his biggest obstacle being his stomach, his female companion Nikaido who runs the restaurant called as Hungry Bug is his greatest ally. Set in a gritty world of hellish design, Dorohedoro manages a healthy blend of comedy and lightheartedness with death and carnage, taking plenty of twists and turns while following the lives of Hull's residents. It views a unique world of unearthly origin and dearly appearances, not for squeamish or easily disturbed peoples. On the third number, the manga name is Claymore. Claymore is an exciting manga that leans into a half-human, half-demon trope that a lot of action-adventure series embrace. Claymore's protagonist Claire is such an individual and she uses her hybrid statue as an advantage in a war against Yoma, which are Grotsky's shape-shifting demons. Claire's conflicted positions is reminiscent of Guts' duality in many ways, but the heavy demon-slaying actions will definitely conjure images of Berserk. There's such a glee that exhibited in the sprawling action and Claymore consistently ups the stakes with its obstacles and enemies. Definitely a worthy read if you liked Berserk. On the second number, the manga name is Vinland Saga. Set in 11th century Europe, Vinland Saga tells a bloody epic in an era where violence, madness and injustice are inescapable, providing a paradise for the battle craze and utter hell for the rest who lives in it. The story follows Thorfinn's quest to avenge his father's death by defeating Asklad, his father's murderer in a fair duel. He plans to accomplish this by working with him and doing whatever Askeladd asks, and in return he is granted a chance to kill him. The story however is not just focused on Thorfinn, more focus is given to the other members of the cast like Askeladd and other historical figures such as Thorkel, Kanut and their participation during the conflicts of that era. Similar to the manga Berserk, Vinland Saga has intense action scenes, a large cast of complex characters and interesting flashbacks. There are a lot of similarities with our protagonists in their early years. 
both being part of the mercenary groups and getting full respect from the leaders who give them the most important missions. It also talks about childhood innocence, murder, sorrow, revenge, emptiness, redemption and aspirations. And hence, Vinland Saga takes the second spot on this list. And finally, on the first number, the manga name is Vagabond. In 1600, the terrible battle of Sekigahara took place, which established the power of Tokugawa Shogun. Among the fighters, Shinmen Takezo, who is the son of a great samurai, is ready to do anything to survive. Returning to his native village, he is rejected by the inhabitants for having deserted. Pursued by these people, he then begins a long wandering with a single objective, to become the greatest samurai in Japan. Vagabond is a long initiation manga which leads the hero to discover, to understand the world around him and himself, dedicating himself to the way of the sword. Changing his name to Miyamoto Musashi, he challenges and confronts the most powerful samurais, carried away by the murderous spiral and torn away by the love for Otsu, his childhood friend. And that's for today's video guys, that was the list of top 10 manga like Berserk. What are your thoughts about this list? Which is your favorite manga out of this list which is just like Berserk? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your favorite manga in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news, theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.